What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with a back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tough passing play to help you beat any defense in Madden 18. Now, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to improve your Madden game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So what I'm going to be looking at today is uh, play another play out of the Patriots playbook. I always get so many requests to do plays out of this playbook. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Trips Y ISO formation. Now this is definitely in some other playbooks. I'm just not 100% sure of all of those playbooks. So if any of you guys know the other playbooks this is in, please, please leave it in the comments below to help everybody else out. So the play we're going to look at today is an oldie but a goodie, the PA Deep Outs. And what I really like about this play is we all know that deep out routes are really good. Uh, they've always been, you know, a, a, a tough route in Madden, but this play has deeper out routes than normal. Normally, you know, the deepest out route you can get is 10 yards by smart routing it, but these are like 15-yard uh, deep out routes, and they do a really good job at getting underneath the deep blue zones and, and things of that nature. So the way I like to set this up is I like to motion in this out route, and that's because we have a tight end out there, and their route running isn't as good, so they don't they don't cut as sharp on the uh, on the out route. So I find that by motioning him inside, it, it allows him to get underneath the deep blue zone a lot better. Whereas AJ Green on the outside, he has good route running, so he's going to get underneath anything. And there's more wide receivers on that side of the field, which kind of you know makes the defense focus a little bit more. Whereas the tight end on the side of the field by himself, he's the only threat. So motioning him inside gives him more room to work with. And then I want to take the A receiver, uh, LaFell, and I want to put him on a drag route. And you can leave the play action if you want. I, I tend to just cancel the play action, but it, it's up to you. So first thing we want to look at is uh, cover four hard flat. Any any type of cover four, cover three, we're going to be able to just tear them apart with these out routes. Even The good thing is even if there's like a cloud flat on the left from like a linebacker, he's not going to be able to get out there to stop A.J. Green. So whether they're playing underneath or over top in cover three or cover four, A.J. Green is going to still get open. So here, this is a hard flat look. As soon as he cuts, you just want to bullet pass it and possession catch it. And we put Earl Thomas over there because he has that 91 zone threshold. So he's actually the best zone defender in regs. So the fact that he can't get underneath that route means, you know, no... No defender is going to be able to get underneath it. I'm going to run it again and show you. You just want to bullet pass it right when he cuts. And you can see, as long as you possess and catch, you get down in bounds. He's not going to be there uh, to make a play. So here, I'm going to go uh, cloud flat coverage just to show you that the cloud flats are not going to be able to get out there to stop it either, which is which is a huge plus because that it makes it easier to read because it doesn't matter what they're in. See, that linebacker can't get out there. So that's just one thing. Whether it's cover three or cover four, it's going to work. Uh, the exact same way. Now, I just want to show this side of the field now. Now, on this side of the field, a cloud flat will be able to stop that out route. But in that case, we're going to have the drag coming underneath. So we have something to uh, compensate for that. So here we see uh, it's a hard flat coverage. We just bullet pass it and, of course, possession catch it. It's good money every single time. Now, in this play, I'm going to do the cloud flat coverage and show you what we would do in that situation. So let's say there... You know, maybe they put some extra zones out there to stop A.J. Green, or maybe they're using it, you know, for whatever reason. Okay, and then they have the cloud flats over here. We see them dropping back with the out route, so we just go underneath to the drag, we rack catch it, and we go upfield, get our five-plus yards. Very simple. You do the same thing against cover three, cover four, same reads. Now, if they're going Tampa 2, and they don't put that, you know, the deep blue over the middle, which a lot of people don't do. Like, experienced players will do it, but the average person you run, in on, run into online they're not going to do that. So if you get hit with a cover two, at this point, you can hit this and a lot of times get a one-play touchdown. He got a, you know, his animation wasn't as good there. But when you get a better animation, it's a one-play touchdown. But regardless, it's still a huge gain. Now, if for whatever reason the post route's not there, let's say they do put the deep blue over the middle of the field or they're manually using it, that's when you're just going to have to check it down to the drag. Because in a cover two, um those out routes are going to be defended because cloud flats are going to be the only thing that's able to take it away. So when the, when they're in a cover two and you see that those those outside corners are playing cloud flats and are kind of just sitting low with the corner route, that's when you look for the post or the drag. If it's any other defense, you can pretty much hit the out route on the left every time or you can look to the right and do your high-low read with the out route and the drag. So very simple concept, very simple play. Uh, it's in a lot of playbooks as far as I know, and I mean, it's just it's just another wrinkle you can throw into your offense to 
help beat some of these tough coverages in the game. And of course, uh, I didn't show it against man. We'll do that really quick. I, I forgot to show it against man. But obviously, out routes do a really good job at beating man. And uh, of course, we have a drag route. Uh, I would probably put somebody faster there where A is. I'd probably maybe put John Ross there if I was actually in a game because he's going to be able to create more separation. But obviously, against man, I mean, man coverage isn't going to defend these out routes. You have a drag if you have some speed there. So a lot of options against any coverage your opponent can throw at you. So that's today's tip, guys. If you enjoyed it, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.